So we're talking about the life of the Christian as he walks in his justified state, living that life of sanctification. And as I said, we have touched on this a couple of times before. Just a few more things just to make sure we get going here. Sanctification is not a simple thing. It's not automatic. It takes work. So even though sanctification always grows out of justification, sanctification is something you consciously work at. It takes effort. It takes commitment on your part. It doesn't happen simply. And that's a given. And most of you who have been living the life of sanctification for a while know that. Not an easy thing. It takes real diligence. So we need to do, realize that. And we need to realize that faith always produces good works. Always. It is not an option. And our problem that we have as Lutherans is because faith alone saves us. Faith alone. No works. Good works are bad. Because faith alone saves us, <coughs> we have a problem with wondering, well, what about good works? Luther was fond of saying, faith alone, but I think Luther said this, but if not him, at least Kolb. Faith alone, but faith is never alone. We are saved by faith alone, but faith is never alone. So in other words, faith will always lead to good works. Always, always, always. The good works do not save, do not confirm the faith, do not make the faith stronger, do not make the faith better, do not make you more saved. The good works are the, always the outcome of faith. Always. <coughs> And if there are no good works, what is the only conclusion you can reach? There is no faith. It's exactly right. Which leads us back to the whole church discipline thing again. Okay, Chris, you got a thought? But yeah, I was just going to say, well, then that gives us the ability to judge. Yes, it which, does. Which a lot of people really harp on us. Yes, for. they do. Jesus said, judge not lest you be judged. And you get that verse quoted at you all the time. But St. Paul also said, and Jesus also said, Jesus said, by your fruit you will know them. And St. Paul said, judge the brother. And judge each other's works. So the fact of the matter is, we are supposed to judge within the church. That's what we do when we care about each other. The not judging rule is, you don't judge someone else's faith standing before God. Because you don't know. That's God's business. I don't need to judge unbelievers. But do I judge my fellow brother? And I say, your Christian walk stinks right now. That's appropriate. It's absolutely appropriate. And we need to be doing that. And I expect others to do that for me. Come and look at me and say, you're being a little bit hypocritical or whatever. That's appropriate. We do that because we care about each other. And you're exactly right. As soon as you try to talk that way, you get jumped on as being unloving. You're judging. You can't do that. And you get all those people who think they know their scripture who are about this deep and know nothing about the real application. And, and they're usually the most annoying people you have to deal with. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry? Yeah, this is, what James, this is the whole point of James. Good works, faith without works is dead. He's right. He's exactly right. Now, do those works justify? Never. It's a different issue. But the works are always there. So that's why we can say things like good works are necessary. They are. And that's why we can even say things like, you have an obligation to do good works. Because you do. For salvation? No, of course not. For the sake of your neighbor. For the sake of, this is what God wants you to do to accomplish his purposes. So you do good works because this is God's will for you to do them. And because faith prompts them and drives them. Faith produces this. It can't help it. Luther had this, this rather famous quote, which gets quoted in the Formula of Conquer, where he says, faith is a living, busy, active thing before it even is told to do some good works. It's already doing them. That's the idea here. Faith just pops out good works, and it does that. Not always, but it does. Now, I mean, there are times when you might have faith, but you're still kind of struggling with the good works thing, and sometimes you do good works just because you know you need to, and that's what we talked about on Monday a little bit. All right. One of the best ways for us to do good works, or where we do our good works, is in our vocation. And this is one of the things that Veith has a nice chapter about vocation. And I really encourage you to just zip through that one. The idea of vocation. 